Welcome to Credit Matters TV. Today, Reina Tanaka discusses her recent report on Japanese insurers ERM, Enterprise Risk Management. Thanks for joining us, Reina. Thank you, Amy. So how does Standard & Poor's evaluate insurance companies' ERM, Enterprise Risk Management? Yes. The assessment of ERM forms one of the factors for analyzing insurance credit worthiness. Our ERM analysis is tailored to each insurance risk profile and focuses on five main areas on this chart. Risk management culture, risk controls, emerging risk management, risk models, and strategic risk management. We assess insurers here using five scores from very strong to weak, and the score is based on our assessment of the five main areas that I mentioned. And what's the recent trend on Japanese insurers ERM? Okay, let me show you the Japanese insurers ERM score distribution as of March 2015. The highest and the second highest scores are assigned to the combined 19% of the insurers. Most of them are subsidiaries of foreign insurance groups. Many of them are a global insurance group with advanced diversification in terms of business line and geographical area of operation. The so Japanese subsidiaries of these insurance groups have put ERM structures in place by adopting the group's advanced ERM frameworks. However, we also hold the view that in general, Japanese local insurers ERM scores are also improving. Over the past year, we have revised upward our ERM assessment to adequate with strong risk control from adequate and raised the sub-factor scores of some insurers. Amid changes in their operating environments, Japanese insurers, especially more major insurance groups, are increasingly strengthening their ERM and raising their level of sophistication in that area. This has become a key pillar of their management strategies in recent years. We think their efforts to enhance ERM has gradually started to bear fruit. And lastly, what's the point of focus going forward? We have seen several companies take on more risk than they used to in both asset management and insurance business area. So Japan's low interest rate environment and insurance recovering capital adequacy appears to be fueling this growing trend. For example, in 2014, companies, mainly life insurers, raised their investments in foreign bonds and sought new investment avenues such as infrastructure investments. Some insurers spent over 100 billion yen of acquisition of overseas insurance companies. So given tightened uh, supervision and regulations, and insurers' growing awareness of the importance of ERM, we expect the companies to further develop their own risk management culture and establish ERM frameworks. But at the same time, we are also aware that many companies have yet to establish sufficient track records. So we will continue to focus our analysis on whether insurers are implementing their risk control process and strategic risk management programs adequately and in a manner that is consistent with their risk appetite frameworks. Thank you very much, Dana. Please Thank also you. read our report. Most Japanese insurers have adequate enterprise risk management amid an improving trend. Thank you for watching Credit Matters TV.